So we're often asked by clients um, about the IR35 small business exemption and whether it applies to them. Um, and um, so the background to this is that when HMRC went through a consultation around this legislation, they received feedback from industry that many small organisations, as they're trying to grow, they need expertise, they can't afford to employ people permanently or they only need people for short spaces of time. HMRC took that on board and decided that they didn't want to you know, kill that piece of flexibility in the labour market. So they created a small business exemption. Now I'm going to quote from the, the legislation. So. If a small business meets two of these three criteria, they don't have to worry about IR35. And the three criteria are turnover not exceeding 10.2 million, uh, a balance sheet total of not more than 5.1 million, um, and an average of no more than 50 employees in the financial year. Now, there is a, a further interesting point, which is that some organizations will scale through um, th these thresholds in a financial year. So, um, now, we, we looked into this and we spoke to HMRC to clarify. Um, and so if you engage a contractor and you meet two of these three criteria, so IR35 doesn't play, but then you fail to meet that test, um, you have to go through two financial years um, of not meeting the small business exemption criteria. And then it's the, the beginning of the following tax year that you have to start applying IR35 um, rules. So you still have some breathing space. So just to repeat, so you, you scale through these criteria and the small, small company exemption no longer applies. Um, it's then not the following tax year, but the beginning of the tax year after that, that IR35 applies. So you still have some breathing space. It's a little bit complex. So, uh, you know, do reach out and talk to us if you, you, you know, you, you've got further questions about this and you want to discuss that in more detail.